Hello everybody, Sanyur, Engineer, MBA and Investor and in today's video, I want to talk about the interview between ARK Invest and CEO of Beam Therapeutics, John Evans. I want to talk about all of that in this video. Now, before we jump into today's video, you guys know the drill. You guys know exactly what to do. Subscribe, hit the like button, smash the like button, destroy that like button really does help the channel with the YouTube algorithms and blah, blah, blah. All right. So today's video, I want to talk about base editing with Beam Therapeutic CEO, John Evans interview between Ali from ARK Invest and obviously John Evans. And this interview was published today. It was published just earlier today, just a few hours ago. And I will say a couple of notes about this interview. I took some notes, um, but I do want to make sure that we cover most of the bullet points at least. So first of all, the CEO of Beam Therapeutics sort of reiterated several things that have already always been discussed throughout all podcast episodes with him and any other interviewer. Generally talks about you know the history of CRISPR, generally talks about the importance of base editing, and also specifically talks about why base editing is a preferred preferred choice and how they're always working on making it better, more efficient. And basically it is the technology right now for many companies to partner up with, right? We talk about Pfizer, we talk about Sana Biotechnology, we talk about Verve Therapeutics. And obviously, you know, we've seen all these partnerships from Beam Therapeutics. They do talk a little bit about uh, more than just the technology. They actually go on to talk about numbers, figures, and I found it really interesting. Ali from ARK Invest, again, you know, ARK Invest is all about the money, right? It makes sense that a financial institution, they make money when you buy their shares and for them to be able to convince you to buy their shares, um, they usually post these types of episodes, these types of articles, and it's part of the business. It's part of why many of you have invested in ARK Invest. I will say that Ali did a great job mentioning one point there where she threw out like 30,000 mutations could be solved by base editing. And even if you took only 10%, top 10% of uh, of those diseases, you're looking at obviously uh, 3,000 diseases. And if you do 3,000 diseases and you look at their deal with Pfizer where they got 100 million upfront for each program, they can actually go ahead and do 100 million times 3,000, and that is actually 30, 30 billion, right? $30 billion upfront. Now, these those are high-end numbers, and honestly, I'm not even a big fan of upfront numbers. I prefer royalty. I prefer partnerships. I prefer 40 to 60% royalty uh, for a lifetime. I prefer those types of partnerships, but hey, 30 billion is no joke, upfront 30 billion. Uh, obviously, this was just for 10% of the 30,000 diseases the base editing can tackle. Uh, so I love that point because it gets you into that imagination. And I, I, re- I really appreciate these types of questions up front because it gets you, it gets to see, you get to see the CEO of the company, how they react towards those numbers. In this case, Evans was basically affirming that point, but didn't mention that's a higher number. That's not how he would, you know, put in uh, the projection or tradition. I think that's a way of a higher number. You don't want to, Put yourself, uh, you want to, you don't want to get ahead of yourself. Like you said, you know, you want to go step by step. And I totally agree with that. But I love that, that type of point from Ali. They went through a couple of other points. Like I said, their relationship with Prime Medicine, obviously Pfizer for therapeutics, generally things that have already been discussed. And I do want to make a point because, um, because there was this video from Christopher Tommy. Um, I, I do want to make a point because I saw something in the comments there. These interviews are always, these interviews are always vetted. Okay. These interviews are always vetted by those, these companies, right? CEOs of public companies like Beam Therapeutics, even if Beam Therapeutics is not worth like 50, hundred billion dollars, they're still worth like four or five billion dollars. That's still a huge company. Their legal team, HR, like maybe not HR, more legal marketing communications. One of those teams are always involved when you get these interviews in. And I will say, and I know a lot of people don't know this. That's why I'm mentioning it. But all these questions are already stated beforehand. Okay. All these questions are already given to the interviewee 
beforehand. Okay, this is not just for mean therapeutics. It's not just for John Evans. I'm just talking about in general when you have these these high position people when they come on come on interviews, they already know the questions beforehand. Now maybe that question at the end, like the poker question and those fun questions, maybe those weren't really um, those really mentioned beforehand. But all of these technical questions, like uh, you know. Just talking about like base editing, talking about the partnerships, talking about prime medicine, talking about Verve, talking about Pfizer. All of them have been stated beforehand for interviews. So I'm just stating this for the people that don't know. If you know, you know. If you don't know, well, now you know. So there's that's that's what it is for that. I do want to mention another point is there was a comment by Ali about the patent situation, right? And I was sort of thrown back from that question because Nat Haruni's interview with John Evans did not include that question. Um, so that question was sort of thrown, that, it sort of surprised me because it's a tricky question and I actually love Evans' answer, right? He did mention that, um, look, he said, patents are there to protect IP. You know, you, you know it takes a billion dollars to, to even go through one FDA approval drug. So you think about working on something like billion and billion of dollars and then anybody can just steal it anytime. Uh, yeah, this doesn't make sense, right? So you do want to have some sort of patent in there. But he also mentioned, so guys, let's just move on from this, right? Let's move on from this. Let's get a joint agreement. It's time to move on, okay? This has been going for years. It's, it's not the right thing to do. It's not right for the East Side, which is the Broad Institute and uh, Harvard and MIT or the West Coast, which is obviously University, Berkeley and so on. So I love that answer, but you know, it is what it is. Obviously, Evans is not going to be the one that's going to change uh, anything here in this storyline. This is uh, this goes be well beyond his control. So it is what it is. So generally a good interview, generally a good interview. I really appreciate this interview for uh, several reasons. Uh, whoops, my mic just dropped. Um, I, I really appreciate this interview for several reasons, but I do want to mention that um, these types of interviews is always refreshing to hear because you get to see how the CEO is thinking, how the company is doing. Don't forget, ARK Invest is actually holding Beam Therapeutics as their 12th, 12th largest position out of all their funds combined, just behind CRISPR Therapeutics. And I believe they actually own, ARK Invest owns about 12 point something percent of the company as a whole, right? So ARK Invest actually owns over 12% of Beep Therapeutics. So it is in their favor to be posting these types of interviews, to be posting these types of articles, to inform and raise awareness about CRISPR, about base editing, and about this whole space as a whole. And it is in our favor as well, right? Uh, as much as you want to bash on ARK Invest, as much as you want to talk about their poor performance in, in over the last year-ish, I do want to remind you guys that their efforts about this space, raising genomics, raising ARC GFON, raising education on it. Yes, they have their own, uh, their own um, skin in the game, but ultimately it is the, for the best for all of us because that is the goal of this channel as well, to raise awareness about CRISPR and genomics. I will end this video like this. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Like this video if you found value. And let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this interview. Thank you so much for watching.